So when we walk the dogs in the morning, uh, sometimes on the weekends we'll walk them down to the 7-Eleven and we'll get a coffee. So that's kind of like a little nice change up that we do on the weekends. Helps to break the monotony of the usual morning ritual. And we get a little exercise in while they get a little exercise in. Let me introduce you to the dogs. Say hi, Coco. Oh, ew. Gross. That's why we have zoom function. This is Coco. This is Levi, he's a big spaz. Holy moly, Levi, stay in one place. And then Lola is the alpha. So when we're going to the 7-Eleven, we cut through this schoolyard, which isn't, there isn't a school there anymore. Um, it's, there's actually a gym in there, and uh, I think a Montessori as well. But we cut through there, and then make our way through this park that has a pickleball court, which is somewhat new in the last few years. But it also has a porta potty in the middle of it, which is otherwise unusual to me, because I've never been in a park that has, that has like a permanent porta potty in it, but in the morning after you've had your all brand and coffee, it does come in handy. So by the time we get to the 7-Eleven and back and have had our coffee, it might come in handy. How's that taste? Yummy. What'd you get? Uh, breakfast wrap, so it has bacon, eggs, and then fried peppers and onions with some cheese in there. You know what kind of cheese it is? I think it's cheddar cheese, because it's orange and gooey. <laughs> <laughs> So I just finished working out, and as tends to happen while I'm working out, um, a special delivery arrives, and I had ordered something recently from, I ordered a bunch of stuff from the fitshop.ca. If you never shopped there, they got some good deals, and they have um, a good rate on shipping as well. Uh, I think anything, if you make an order over like 69 bucks, then the shipping's free. And uh, their shipping is pretty timely. Um, but I got a box here, I ordered a few things, I need to order some protein. Where's the goddamn protein, Mom? Don't you give me some protein! Uh, but I also got some padded uh, lifting straps for one of my clients because she does tend to have um, some uh, inflammation in the elbow sometimes. Uh, as you know, if you lift kettlebells, 
Um, your elbows go through a lot of rapid extension. Um, and even just the placement of the bell itself can make, can uh, potentially cause some shearing forces. And so the elbows can get a little icky sometimes, especially if you're doing other accessory work on top of that um, as well, especially if you're pushing those weights as well. So sometimes it can be a bit much, but uh, lifting straps can really help you isolate the target muscle groups like the lats, which is an area that she's had a little bit of trouble really um, tapping into. And if you've ever used lifting straps before, especially for things like rows and stuff like that, you're able to alleviate a lot of the tension um, from the elbow down and really just focus on the recruitment of the lats themselves. So let's pop open this box and you can take a look at what I ordered. Okay. Oh yeah, I ordered some chalk too. Um, so that's good. I ran out of chalk. This chalk is made in Taiwan. Um, I was talking to some people on Facebook today about um, people having some issues with um, some adverse reactions or potentially even allergic reactions to uh, the magnesium carbonate chalk that uh, we often use. And adverse reactions is not something that I've personally had experience with with uh, chalk. Um, but if any of you watching this video have, please comment in the, uh, in the comment section below and tell us a little bit about uh, your experience with using magnesium carbonate. Okay, so moving on. I got, uh, I think I got five blocks of chalk. Four, five, yeah, five blocks of chalk. Here's the lifting straps from Grizzly, padded. Um, cause this particular client is actually quite lean. So I just wanted to make sure that she had some straps that weren't digging into her wrists. Cause um, they can leave welts. Oh shit, yeah. Some carb killer high protein bars. Now, I'm not someone who's, who's big into protein bars, but they do come in handy sometimes, especially when you're traveling. Um, if, and if you're in a pinch, and if you're in a situation where you just can't eat something that requires a fork or a lot of chewing and crunching and stuff like that. So if you're working with private clients or something like that, it can be really useful. Um, these are white chocolate mocha. Um, I actually only thought they were white chocolate, but uh, and I'm not a fan of white chocolate at all. Let's face it, people. White chocolate is just not real chocolate. Uh, <laughs> it's, like, it's like chocolate without the chocolate and all the fat. Um, but the mocha sounds interesting. You know, you guys probably know I'm a huge coffee fan, so I'm definitely going to be into that. Um, the Carb Killer Protein Bars are not unlike the Quest Bars in that they use a, an oligosaccharide, an oligopolysaccharide, uh, an undigestible fiber um, syrup that is actually sweet, but is um, largely undigestible or partially digestible. Uh, so you can get all that sweetness without getting all the extra calories, um, that sort of thing. So these guys are 22 grams of protein per bar, two grams of sugar, and uh, there should be about 200 calories each, something like that. Yeah, 213 calories each. Yeah. Anyway, don't live on protein bars, eat real food, use them when you have to. Um, I did grab some BCAs just because I ran out. Uh, BCAs is not something that I really promote all that much. Uh, really, when I order BCAs, I break down the price per serving, and if it's cheaper than Crystal Light, I get BCAs. That's basically it. Because if you're eating a sufficient diet, especially if you are also supplementing with whey protein, BCAs is not something that you need whatsoever at all. Um, but, uh, so in that respect, if I get BCAs, um, I'm generally just getting them to uh, have with my water during a workout. Uh, it just helps me get my fluids in. And I also try to look for the ones that have added electrolytes and uh, potentially B vitamins and stuff like that too. I look, I look to see if they add a bunch of other good stuff in there. So um, yeah, anyways, moving on. Uh, that's a strawberry, strawberry margarita. I don't know if you can see that from Simply Advanced. 30 servings. I forget how much I paid for that. It wasn't much. Um, Fit Shop also throws in free samples. If you hit a certain um, amount in your 
shopping cart on the website, you get free samples. I think bodybuilding.com does something the same like that. So I got some whey. You can even choose the free sample or at least what type of sample you're getting. So it'll give you an option between um, samples of whey or samples of BCAs or samples of pre-workout, that sort of thing. So I will usually just get whey. So it looks like they threw in some chocolate peanut butter and some decadent chocolate whey. So happy about that. Um, I have tried this one before, the almond croissant. It's actually pretty good. And this is from One Brand Nutrition. So that's a whey isolate. Isolate is, so a whey concentrate is basically just um, dried and filtered uh, whey that um, still has many of the immunoglobulins and, um, and sugars like lactose associated with milk products. Um, but whey isolate really isolates down to just the peptides so that you're getting rid of all the lactose. So if you're someone who's particularly lactose intolerant, go for the whey isolate, not the concentrate. Also got key lime pie. We'll see how that one is. That's also an isolate. And then uh, they had these ones that they're getting rid of. Revolution Nutrition, to be honest, not super impressed with their products. Um, I'm a little skeptical about the quality of their whey, uh, but um, you know, you can try some yourself and you can decide. But this one looked interesting and they were getting rid of them for a, a bargain basement price. I think it was like 12 bucks or something like that for almost a two pound jug. Churro flavor, I'm a big cinnamon fan, so um, we'll see what that's like. This one's higher on the calories, it's not an isolate. So instead of, you know, towards more of the domain of like 100, 110 calories, this one's more like 160 calories, four grams of fat, and uh, eight grams of carbohydrates. So, a little bit higher in cal calories, a bit higher in sugar. And uh, that's everything that I ordered. Muscle milk, HGH, protein, power bar. Beautiful.